I'm Stefano Menti, I'm uh, living uh, in uh, Gambellara and uh, my job uh, is uh, cultivating uh, vines in the vineyard, so I'm a farmer. Gambellara is sited uh, in Veneto, northeast part of uh, Italy, between uh, Venice and Verona. In Gambellara, uh, together with my family, I'm the fourth generation, we are cultivating the mostly uh, garganica grape, that is uh, a white uh, kind of grape, and a uh, smaller part, uh, Durella. Our family, uh, I'm the fourth generation of the family, the family started with the business of wine at the, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century with my great-grandfather named Giovanni, and uh, nowadays uh, it's uh, continuing uh, together with uh, my father, also his name is Giovanni, and me. Uh, our, uh, our family mostly is producing uh, the vine, uh, overall uh, for, uh, uh, we produce the vine because we want a, a good vine for our family and uh, uh, from these products we are creating also our own business selling our products all over the world. So since the main conceptor of this product is us, uh, we produce the wine only with uh, natural products. So the most of wine we produce are produced only with uh, grape. And some other are produced with the grape and a small quantity of salty. To produce the wine this way is necessary to have care of the vineyards in a natural way. So it means that uh, to protect from disease we use only copper and sulfur that does not enter inside the grape but stay outside the grape. So after fermentation or after picking the grape or after washing the grape there are no any remains inside the, the, the juice that will become vine. And after we don't use any chemical in the vine. Uh, the cultivation is made uh, following the biodynamic methods that is nothing much more different than an organic way. The organic method does not use any chemicals entry in the fruit and in the vine and the biodynamic method is uh, uh, following all the uh, knowledge connected with the season, the planets and the moon. So there are some jobs we are doing in some season that are much more effective if uh, we would have done the same uh, work in another period. And um, those vines that are very drinkable and uh, digestible uh, are also vines, uh, also if they are whites, they are vines that are possible to age for years. From the same grape, the Garganica grape, that is uh, the most interesting grape we have and is located for this area because the, the soil is volcanic, it is black rock. We produce uh, sparkling vine, fizzy vine, steel vine, orange vine, and also sweet vine or sweet and balsamic vine. So it's uh, very variable, uh, very, very uh, adaptable uh, grape for every kind of vine. Uh, taking care of our vineyards uh, with the natural uh, way and the natural system, we are reproducing a lot of animals and insects that uh, uh, would uh, stay only in the natural environment that are uh, naturally protecting our fruits and our trees from disease and from other insects uh, only because they are living, eating and fighting these, uh, these animals. Having uh, producing natural vine means uh, uh, produce also higher quality vines than the average vine that are in the market. Overall, because uh, to produce natural vine, you cannot produce natural vine from uh, bad grape. So it's necessary to have uh, a nice, great, uh, good fruit to produce the natural vine. And so I would say, also maybe if uh, it's not completely correct, uh, that to produce a natural vine, the basic uh, starting grape have to be 
higher quality than the average of the other wines. To produce natural wine is necessary not to use selected yeast that are not chemical products, are natural, but are multiplying in some laboratories. And if you use this selected yeast, maybe produced in New Zealand, to produce a white Italian wine or US wine or French wine, mostly the perfume and the taste are very, very similar. To produce a natural wine is only necessary to press the grape because the grape has already inside the natural yeast. So to have better and healthy control of the fermentation, what we do? We remove the stack from the grape, we press the grape with the skin and while we are cleaning the most of quantity of juice pressed inside the tank, the fermentation with the skin start and so we are creating our mother starter yeast. When this yeast is fermenting and when the, the juice inside the tank is clean, we move the starter in a small stainless steel tank and we are moving part of the juice in the same stainless steel tank and when we have 500 liters fermenting very well, that is around the 10 or percent of the tank, we move all together this starter in the tank and the fermentation starts with natural yeast. Only necessary for us after is to control the temperature and how much sugar the binding is firing every day. That's all.